हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द सेशन आई एम मिस्टर प्रवीण कुंभार टुडे वी वांट टू सी मॉडल्स ऑफ एथिकल डिसीजन द लर्निंग आउटकम ऑफ दिस टॉपिक इज एट द एंड ऑफ द सेशन स्टूडेंट विल बी एबल टू एक्सप्लेन द कंसेप्ट ऑफ एथिकल डिसीजन द कंटेंट्स ऑफ दिस टॉपिक्स आर फर्स्ट इंट्रोडक्शन देन आफ्टर वी वॉन्ट टू सी वॉट आर दी स्टेजेस इन इथिकल डिसीजन मेकिंग देन आफ्टर वी सी द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑन इथिकल डिसीजन मेकिंग एंड आफ्टर वर्स वॉट आर दी फ्रेमवर्क फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग इथिकल डिसीजन मेकिंग लिमिटेशन ऑफ इथिकल डिसीजन मेकिंग मॉडल्स देन इंडिविजुअल्स इन्फ्लुएंस ऑन इथिकल डिसीजन मेकिंग फर्स्ट इंट्रोडक्शन नाउ वी विल बी focusing on the descriptive ethical theories in the descriptive ethical theories what we are focusing on is how ethical decisions are actually made in business situation and what are the factors the variables which affect the ethical decision making the course of discussion of now is model of ethical decision making and the factors affecting decision making in the ethical decision making in the organization so when we are talking of what is an ethical decision we understand the ethical decisions are those decisions which have implication for the parties for whom the decisions are being made there is no right and wrong answer presently and clearly available there is a debate about what is a morally right and morally wrong in a particular situation and then there are n number of alternatives present like you can do this you can do that you can take this action and all this thing you can take that action but you have to decide what about way to go which action to take which will be more morally correct or more morally right and not being wrong in the sense of the benefits and harms when you talking a moral right and moral wrong we talk in terms of a benefits and harms provided increasing the benefit and listening on avoiding the harms as the consequences of the action taken on the people at a large to other people involved parties with our business process and also to be society at large each of the decision that you are taking to he- to have an implication for ourselves and also to others there are alternatives and different alternatives available and though our ethical decisions making process we have to choose the best possible alternatives given the complexity in which decisions are being taken we want to see different stages in ethical decision making this diagram shows ethical decision making processes so there are totally four processes are available in ethical decision making the first one is recognize moral issues second one is make moral judgment third one is establish moral intent and last one is engage in moral behavior now we want to see one by one let us now focus into the model of ethical decision making so when you are focusing on the models of a ethical decision making process we have to understand that the first the issue has to be realized as a normal issue by the people next this stage is important because if you are not recognizing as an issue to be moral issue then the other stages will not be follows so first issue has to be recognized as a moral issue second it should be able to make a moral judgment with regard to that issue third there should be an intention to act established an intent to act in a certain way after you made your judgment and the way the your intention to act in a certain way will define your moral behavior means how you respond to the moral issue now recognition in the moral issue making moral judgment establishing an intent and engaging in a moral behavior these are the four stages in ethical decision making the normative theories which helps us in recognizing this moral issue and also they making a moral judgment through the lens is given like if these things are followed then 
it is not ethically right if these things are not followed then it is ethically not right and based on the weightages of the positive and the negatives that you get from analyzing the issues based on that you make a judgment about whether the issue is ethically right or wrong and what you need to do about it and your intention to do something for it your responsibility or responsiveness towards it and then you try to act on it so these are the different stages of ethical decisions making and here comes the involvement of normative theories which helps you to make the moral judgment now we want to see influences on ethical decision making so this diagram shows the influences on the ethical decision making so basically there are two main factors the first factor is individual factor second one is a situational factor now in details we want to see what are the influence factor now influencing the ethical decision making are mainly two factors which can be classified as a broad categories as a individual related issues factors and situational factors so individual factors are the unique characteristics of the individual who are making a relevant decision and these can again be classified under two headings which are those characteristics of the individual which are acquired by the individual by birth and those characteristics of the individual which the person have got as a process of learning socialization and maturity now second group of a factors that you find are called situational factors situational factors are particular features of the context in which the decisions is being made so which either facilitates or hinders the process and comes whether the individual will make ethical decision or not morally correct decision or not and this way include the factors which are there within the working context in which the issue have happened or it may be related to the issue itself now factors related to the issue itself are the moral intensity of the issue and the framing of that issue how ethical framing of that issue in how and we make it appear to look like framework for understanding ethical decision making so this showing the framework for understanding the different ethical decision making so there is a individual factors and situational factors and this individual factors and the situational factors consist of a four things that will helpful for taking a decision that is recognize moral issue make a moral judgment establishment moral intent and engage in moral behavior now the basic framework for understanding this ethical decision making that we have is this like the ethical decision making process and we have individual factors which affect each of the process and situational factors also affecting each of these processes and this is the complex frame work in which ethical decision takes place and the individual factors also categories and situational factors can also be classified under sub factors and their categories under it now limitations of a ethical decision making models now models is useful for structuring discussion and seeing the different elements that come into play now we want to see the what are the limitations there are basically three limitations so first limitation is not straight forward or sensible to break model down into discrete units various stages related or independent national or cultural bias so model is intended not as a definitive representation of ethical decision making but as a relative simple way to present a complex process so what would be the before we proceed towards the detailed discussion of the individual and the situational factors we should understand like this type of a model we have certain limitations in the sense like we have to understand like this can have type of a models can have cultural biases this shows like 
this all the stages are related to each other and it is not very sensible to like study each the stages separately so this model we are seeing we can understand this is a very complex phenomenon. so there can be n number of ways in which you can study the relationship all happens together and it is not possible to separate one from the other so with this we move forward to with individual and the situational influences on ethical decision making as shown in the last module now individual influences on ethical decision making these are the factors and these are the influences on the ethical decision making so this age and gender is the one factor second factor is national and cultural characteristics third one is educational and employment these are all considered in a one factor now the psychological factor is cognitive moral development and locus of control these are the different factors personal values moral imagination these are the again two factors references for this topic is thank you